Guys, it's Melvin7 here, and today I'm bringing you my Manchester United vs uh, Norwich match preview. Now, I won't be wearing this snapback in every single video I do, but at the minute, my hair is just, like, shit, it needs cut, and, uh, yeah, honestly, it's just a bad hair day, so it's easier for me to put this on and do the video instead of trying to spend 20 minutes doing it to make it look okay. But anyway, on to the important stuff. Against Norwich, they are in the bottom three, they are uh, third bottom, so they're 18th, I think. And obviously we haven't won a game in five, so this has, has to be a win. What's remarkable is we're the only team that are undefeated at Old Trafford in the league since April and this season. We are undefeated, so I can't see us losing, no disrespect to Norwich, they've played some decent football now and then, but they haven't been able to find that killer instinct, and I don't think they will at Old Trafford. I, I sincerely hope they don't, because if we, if we lose this, we've got, well, we probably will drop out of the top four, which is just ridiculous but yeah I believe we will win a few injuries look as though they're coming back Wayne Rooney is back but there's reports that he's either suffering severe depression or a drinking problem I hope they are both false but if they aren't then you know it, it is serious and I really want Waza to get better obviously and come back with a bang because we have gave him a lot of stick but that's because as Manchester United fans we know what he's capable of and he hasn't hit that height, those heights this season so yeah I hope if I hope it isn't true but if it is get better soon Waza honestly like it, it's just not nice to see when someone goes through that but anyway uh, other players that are coming back Chris Smalling I think has trained for a week along with Ander Herrera, Ashley Young's getting there, Phil Jones played against Bournemouth. They're not all necessarily going to be available, but they're getting fit and they're going to be in the in the 18-man squad. Not necessarily starting, but hopefully they will, particularly Herrera and Smalling. They're, those two are key in our team, in my opinion. So, the team I think we're going to go with is probably De Gea and Net. We might put Jones as a right-back, but I can see us just playing Varela again and then having Chris Smalling if... He's fit. If he isn't, then Phil Jones will go in there. But if he's fit, I would say Smalling and then Blind. Left back, Ka uh, probably Cameron, uh, Cameron Brothwick Jackson. Although we might play Ashley Young, I would like to see Ashley Young there. He's not a default fullback, but he's done all right there. And I think he's been overlooked a bit. And obviously, there was all this fitness stuff. So hopefully, he's back. But yeah, it, the defence is hard to predict because there's a lot of injuries. But I suppose if. if Phil Jones is back, then what we might do is um, play him alongside Smalling if he's back as well, then push Blin to a left back. The defence is really hard, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to predict now Varela, Jones, Smalling and Blind, personally. That's obviously if Jones and Smalling are fit enough to play, which they might be. Midfield is a little bit more certain for me. I would say Schneidlin has to play. He was on the bench, apparently wasn't that fit last week, but hopefully those problems have been eradicated and he plays. We need him. He clears up the shit from the centre-backs and everything, like from the defence, he's basically there to intercept and he's a fantastic holding defensive midfielder. Ahead of that, I'd probably play Carrick, um, well, Swensteg is injured, so it would have to be Carrick. And then the front four, if Rooney doesn't play, if, if Rooney's fit and he has no problems, Van Hal will put him straight in, which is fair enough. I just want to see him deliver, obviously, on the pitch, but I think he, he probably won't be selected tomorrow because of all these issues that are surrounding him. I don't think he will be, so the front four I would go with would be Mata, Herrera, Memphis, Martial. I think Memphis, particularly since coming back from injury, has looked a lot better. He just needs a goal or an assist to maybe get his confidence up, but he has looked better. He's made more uh, good judgments instead of making errors all the time he's passed it off a lot more than trying to take on his man and when he does take on his man he, he usually goes past them since injury so hopefully he can maintain this form improve on it a little bit as for the rest Mata really needs a performance he was decent in the last game and he had a good assist against Wolfsburg but he's been tailoring off a bit quiet in games this season so I would really like him to kick on Herrera if, he, if he's fit, he really needs to start. He, he's so underrated on our team. He'd get in almost any team in Europe, bar probably Barca, Bayern, and uh, maybe Man City going off the players they have. But he is absolutely tremendous, and he has to play. Martial, I think he'll bag a brace. I might even bet on this. I think he's going to score at least two against Norwich. We really need a convincing win. Not just a 1-0 scrappy win. It has to be convincing. Get an early goal, then Norwich can't be sitting back and they'll have to go for it a little bit more. So hopefully Space will, uh, you know, come in in behind and hopefully Van Hal lets the players off the leash. That's the big part. Will Van Hal allow his players 
to express their freedom, uh, sorry, their creativity. Give them a little bit of freedom to do so. I'm going to go confident. I'm going to press the confidence button, at, so as to speak. I'm going to say we're going to win 3 0 against Norwich. Let me know what you think in the comments. Do you agree? Do you disagree? Subscribe if you haven't already. Like the video, and yeah, peace.